You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey guys, it is Belinda from Soap Dirt and we have got a general hospital comings and goings update. We've got to talk about this recast shocker. There is yet another Molly. Is Molly number four going to stick around? On Wednesday's episode, GH fans, including me, were completely gobsmacked to see another Molly Lansing Davis walk into the Savoy on the arm of her domestic partner, TJ Ashford. Then there was this voiceover. The role of Molly Lansing Davis is now being played by Kristen Vaganos. I think I'm saying that right. And... She is a good get as an actress. I will say that, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about her, and then I want to talk about the big questions everybody's asking. Is she sticking around? All that kind of stuff. And then I'm going to share some fan reaction with you. If you haven't already, please reach down, click subscribe, so you don't miss any of our GH updates. Now let's dig in. This new actress, Kristen Vaganos, attended the very prestigious and very competitive and hard to get into Tisch School of the Arts at New York University. She graduated in 2018. Her age is not drifting around in a very obvious place on the internet, but I did the math because her resume says she went to NYU from 2014 to 2018, which means she probably also graduated high school in 2014, which would make her eh, about 27 or 28, a decade younger than Brooke Ann Smith, the actress she replaced as Molly. And GH took a ton of heat for casting an almost 40-year-old in the role of Molly Lansing. That was a huge point of fame and criticism from the get-go. I will say that wasn't my personal issue with the recast at all. Brooke Ann Smith looks very young. I would guess her at least a decade younger at a glance than she looks like. So she's like 39, I think. She definitely could play 29. She played a high schooler not that long ago. My problem was the way that they had her play the role of Molly or the way she chose to play the role and they let her play it. I I don't know. I think we're going to have a better idea of whether it was her choice or a director telling her to play it that way once we see more of how they have Kristen Vaganis playing the role. For me, The role of Molly went to being kind of snappy and clever, almost a mini Alexis, to being a big old whiny baby. I just would not picture the old Molly boo-hooing into a stuffed toy when she had a bad day. That, for me, was kind of the scene that broke me from dealing with the recast. I was just like, no. I found the portrayal to be very babyish, whiny, and immature. But, you know, directors are supposed to tell you how to play the role, how they want it, give you feedback. So I'm blaming production, not the actress. I'll just say that. And I, I also imagine they were in a bind to find someone to play the part, given what Haley Pullos pulled that made her completely unemployable now and for the foreseeable future. Holiday Mia Kriegel was the ASAP recast that I'm sure they scrambled to hire as a temporary fix after Haley Pullis' arrest and felony charges. Holiday Kriegel did nine episodes from the end of May to mid-July. My theory is that they immediately began the casting process when they knew that Haley Pullis couldn't come back, and they hired Brooke Ann Smith as part of that casting process. But Brooke Ann Smith had 16 episodes only from July 19th to September 25th, and a few days after her debut, Fan criticism was piling up. There were all these comments. I'm not going to read any of them because a lot of them were really mean, unnecessarily mean, I think. But her brother took to Facebook to defend her. And he did confirm at the time on July 22nd that she was a permanent recast. So she was working on the ABC soap from about June through roughly the end of August because they tape four weeks ahead, generally. So I'm going to read you what her brother Scott Smith Smith said in her defense and a couple of things that his comments reveal. So he addressed this in a Facebook group, a general hospital group. He writes, Brooke Ann Smith as the new Molly. Number one, yes, I'm biased. I'm Brooke's brother, smiley face. Number two, Brooke is a permanent recast. Original Molly is not coming back. 
Three, the only reason age is an issue is because it's known. She looks extremely young in real life, is quite freaky, actually. Routinely gets carded almost every time. On the show Awkward, she played 16-year-old high school student at 30. I remember that show. It was quite a good show. I don't really remember her off the top of my head, but four, she is an accomplished actress since 2001. Look for yourself on IMDb. Only asking to give her a chance is difficult for anyone trying to step into the shoes of someone that has been so integral to the show for so long. Sincerely, a protective and proud mother. And then he gave a heart and said to all the GH fans, regardless of your fave Molly and another smiley face emoji. It was very nice. He was defending his sister, but he was doing it in a very nice way. So what I want to speak to, though, about his statement is two things. One is that he said Brooke is a permanent recast. So with her being gone now, it sounds to me like General Hospital hired and then fired her. Maybe she had another project she wanted to pursue, but with the SAG strike still going on, there's not a lot of other work to be had. Maybe they cave to the pressure of fan outrage. We don't know, and they're not going to tell us, I'm sure. The second thing he said that caught my eye was original Molly is not coming back. That's something that I had pretty much already figured out. If you don't know why, or you're one of those that think her DUI is no big deal and she shouldn't lose her job, I'm going to clear this up just real quick. I'm going to drop a link in the description and also at the end of this video to a standalone video I did about exactly what she did that night and the criminal charges she is facing and the civil lawsuit she is facing. And all of this is why I doubt GH would ever rehire her. The police report alleges Haley Pullis was drinking and consuming marijuana edibles while behind the wheel. Then she blood tested out to a blood alcohol content of 0.15 or higher. That is double the legal limit right at. She smashed into a parked car, fled the scene. That makes that a hit and run. Then she pulled onto the freeway, driving in the wrong direction, smashed head on into another driver who reportedly had life-threatening injuries requiring multiple surgeries. She then reportedly verbally abused first responders who helped her as well as medical staff at the hospital. She is now facing two aggravated felonies. If you're one of those people that thinks DUI is not that big a deal, I don't even know what to say to you because driving drunk is unconscionable. Driving drunk and high is next level. Those two aggravated felonies each carry a possible three-year prison term totaling six possible years behind bars. Haley is in rehab now, and that is a legal defense strategy, according to a DUI lawyer in L.A. that I spoke to who specializes in cases like these. In the state of California, you can ask the judge, your lawyer can ask the judge to count every day you spend in rehab for time served to apply to any prison sentence. So, for instance, if they sentence her to a year in prison or even two, she can spend a year or even two in that posh Malibu rehab facility and not spend one day in prison for what she did, allegedly. So, yes, I am certain Brooke Ann Smith's brother is correct and old Molly won't won't be back. So suck it up and accept that Haley Pelosi is gone. Even if you really liked her, I thought she was great on the show. All this, not impressed with. If you want to see her on camera, check out TMZ footage of her leaving court the other day. I'm sure they're going to have more scenes of that as she faces more days in court. So there's a lot more details in the video. Again, I'm going to drop the link in the description below and I'm going to drop it as a clickable video at the end of this. So I will say off the cuff, I already like this re this recast, the new Molly. Kristen Vaganos didn't have a ton of screen time on Wednesday, but I liked her look. I liked her vibe and how she spoke. She looks like someone who completely blends into the look of all the Davis girls. Only time will tell, of course. But here is some quick fan reaction I'm going to read you to the fourth Molly we have seen in 2023 on General Hospital. Here's the tweets that I pulled out. Another new Molly. Can we keep her? New Molly. Two exclamation points. Yes. Two more exclamation points. Brand new permanent Molly today. Yet another new Molly. Crossing my fingers that this one is slightly better? Question mark. 
Is this the final Molly or will we get a new one next month too? I'm confused. Another new actress to play Molly or just a temporary cast? Uh, This one, thank God y'all finally listened to his fans about the new Molly. Then, oh, we got a new Molly, huh? I guess all that complaining online about the previous actress did the trick. Then, another new Molly? Well, at least she's the right age. Let's see how this one works out. Fourth time's the charm. Let's hope so. Then, well, at least we got a new Molly for the story nobody asked for or cared about. I'm rooting for the surrogate to snap. And then I have one last tweet for you guys. This one, to me, wins Twitter today. (laughs) According to a new federal law, we will all be required to take turns playing the role of Molly Lansing. Be on the lookout for a script in your mailbox. All right. Definitely drop your comments below on just what are your initial impressions of new Molly. Click a like if you enjoyed this conversation and please click subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to see all the details about the charges that Haley is facing and the lawsuit she's facing as well, hang on one second. And when the two videos pop up at the end that recommend what you watch, it'll be the one on the right. Thanks for tuning in. This has been Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 